Hello and welcome to Nigel's workbench. On the workbench today we have two Commodore 64s, the Bedrin and the Commodore 64C. This one hasn't got uh, a working board in and this one has, so what I'm going to do is transfer the board and the keyboard from this one into this case. So we'll start with the bread bit. First thing I need to do is take the top cover off. And put the keyboard back to one side. Next thing I need to do is put my wrist strap on and undo all the screws holding it in. Holding the board in. Save all the screws that I've only put two in by the way. Lift that one out. Side. And then on the uh, on the Commodore 64C, this plastic bit, you don't need that one. So I can take this off. the Commodore C using this keyboard and using this motherboard as you can see I've got some 3D printed brackets for the keyboard Keyboard back over. This one fits underneath the keyboard, and this one fits on top. So put the joystick ports in first. one just fits over the joystick port. I'm just going to put a couple of screws in the bottom to hold the case together. Now we're back on the Commodore. Red bin. Take the keyboard off. Okay, that's the keyboard removed. So now we can add the keyboard to the existing board. Look the Board socket in and on the right hand side, left hand side. Then this bracket goes there, and the keyboard goes underneath these clips there. So I'll put that. In there, get one of the key screws that got out the keyboard. Screw that in. And one in this side.
board in. And the top will go on like that. But what I need to do, because the um, because the LED is the other side, I need to make a, a longer lead to reach over underneath here. So that's what I need to do next. Okay, what I've done is I've cut the wire. I've put some heat shrink over that bit of the cable and I'm going to put a bigger piece over this which will go over the whole lot should have done this before oh, it's not going to be two bits like that First, so what we do here is use the helping hands. Yeah. 
e un'altra valle do is just put it in, put it up here, keep the top over that side, position clips, screw back in the keyboard screw. do a bit of testing make sure it still works. Let's try the diagnostic cartridge. So switching on.
Okay, everything seems to be working fine. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and if you want to support me on Patreon and Coffee, the links are at the end of the credits or in the description below. Bye.